everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beaver Mosh, here today to talk to you about the new Crypte album, Capsule, coming out of Sentient Ruin Laboratories. Crypte comes out of the Netherlands, and this is their second full length album. And I don't know what to label this as. I mean, it's not entirely true. This thing has the structure and and some characteristics of a death metal album, but it's it's kind of like death metal being presented through a very alien filter. I I would be hesitant to use the term Avant Guard to describe this because it's actually, in my view, not a particularly complex album, but just the sounds and the timbres and the production choices here are very odd and, and different and unique. This is a rather strange metal album. And it's also a very nightmarish one. Uh, every corner here on this record and every crevice creates this very hostile, claustrophobic atmosphere. On the opening track, Pearl, you get these very peculiar sort of oscillating percussive almost synthesizers these you get these mechanical almost industrial leaning chugged guitars the vocals they're vomitous and they're just deep as all oh, fuck the drums do this interesting pissed almost aloof just kind of smashing smash and it, it really works here. The, the bass is very, and I mean very chunky. But with all of that said, somehow the band injects a lot of feeling into this track and, and do a good job of creating a very harrowing and morose atmosphere. On Trench, you get these excessively muddy and speedy riffs. It, it almost feels like factory machinery is just churning out deicide covers. That's the best way I could describe how these guitars sound. You get these wicked, like rapid fire, laser-like synths sitting on top of this. On Deluge, you get these raw, nasty, kind of grind adjacent guitars. The vocals come in very drawn out and slow and don't match the intensity of the other instruments at all. It creates a very unsettling contrast and and uh, feeling for the listener. it Your body just like wants it to match more and it just won't agree. It's an interesting sensation. There's also this chilling bass only bit with some sparse kind of faintly recorded samples on top. Uh, it's it's otherworldly and, and deliciously creepy. Billow, you get these sawing, racing guitars. They're very compressed and the rigid sound is so disagreeable and not familiar to most ears. It's, you feel it in your bones when you listen to this. It's kind of a maddening 
experience. You get these corrupting pings being shot into your brain constantly through this track. Salt, these even like guitar and drum snaps. It's bop, 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 bop. It's turns on a switch and you kind of feel this like, here we go kind of moment. There's lots of feedback coming from the guitars, lots of kind of utilization of of noise and, and gain to a good effect. Eventually too, you get these bizarre, like rubbery synths on top that to my ears almost sound like they were recorded underwater. And every time I hear this passage, I'm left so confused and in a good way. I really enjoy how at times, how bewildered this album makes me feel. It makes me feel perplexed and I enjoy that. Dregs, you get some absolutely twisted sneers from the vocalist in the mix here. The guitars play these more spacey, very dissonant passages. This thing is so dense in sound, this track is, that at times I I feel like it's gonna crack and, and, and break open on me. Cecile, you get these like ping-ponging guitars that do this very interesting pan effect, kind of flies around in your speakers and headphones and it, it's dizzying and you're kind of looking at different directions as the sounds kind of move around. Uh, it's a cool kind of use of the studio there. Ebb is just a destructive closing moment where the, the band just kind of throws everything at you with these ferocious walls of sound. Capsule is a very different metal, very different death metal album. There's going to be moments, if you give this a listen, listen, where I guarantee at multiple occasions, you're going to be like, what the hell am I listening to? And that was my experience. And I've listened to this multiple times now, and I still kind of have that. This one is going to reveal itself to you slowly as you acclimate to just the very odd sounds and, and decisions the band makes on this record. It's a really frightening listening experience and if that's something you're looking for, definitely dive into this one. If you want a unique experimental record that isn't gonna sound like much you've heard at least this year then I, I i if you like more experimental death metal i don't see why you shouldn't at least give this a listen give this a chance it's the very interesting album that i enjoyed quite a bit and those are my thoughts if you enjoyed this review and are enjoying what i do here consider hitting that like button it would help a lot. If you'd be so kind, feel free to subscribe. You'll be informed of when I review something next. And it helps the channel quite a bit. If you listen to this or have any other feedback or any comments whatsoever, I love reading those. Please, please comment below. I have a Twitter you can follow. The link to that is in the bio. And please keep it metal. My name is Maddie, aka Beaver Mosh, signing off.